WWE reveals date and location for Raw 30th anniversary episode. Nick Jackson makes his first public appearance since AEW All Out. The NWA suspends Nick Aldis and he won't be appearing at Hard Times 3. Bandito signs contract with All Elite Wrestling. Hey there everyone, happy Monday. You're watching the latest and I got a couple of news stories for you here today. We're gonna kick things off with an update that occurred over the weekend. So let's kick it off with Bandito officially becoming All Elite. Bandito has signed his AEW contract according to Dave Meltzer. The 27-year-old was initially offered a contract following his promotional debut on the Wednesday, September 28th, Dynamite against Ring of Honor champion Chris Jericho. In early October, our website initially reported he had signed the deal but retracted it after it was learned Bandito had also received an offer from WWE. He was considering both while saying in an interview that he was leaning toward accepting the AEW offer. The length of the deal and details on his ability to work outside AEW are currently unknown as of now. And of course, Bandito was also named as one of the participants in the World Title Eliminator Tournament. He will be facing Roosh this Friday on AEW Rampage. And WWE has officially revealed the date and location for their 30-year anniversary episode. Raw will celebrate its 30th anniversary when the show takes place at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia on Monday, January 23rd, 2023. The episode will also be Raw's go-home show for the 2023 Royal Rumble. Along with the 30th anniversary episode of Raw, WWE has announced a full slate of live events for the winter of 2023. And Nick Jackson has officially made his first public appearance since AEW All Out. Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks appeared at an NBA game Sunday as part of the in-game entertainment. Identified as himself and being from AEW by the in-game host, Jackson and one of his children tossed t-shirts to fans during a break in the LA Clippers home game against the Utah Jazz. He didn't do any wrestling-related skit, nor did he talk on the microphone. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega still haven't appeared on AEW TV since the events following All Out. Speculation is that they will return to action at this month's Full Gear pay-per-view against Trio's champions, The Death Triangle. And we got tons of NWA news to get into, so let's kick it off with what's currently going on with Nick Aldis. The National Wrestling Alliance has suspended former two-time world champion Nick Aldis. The NWA released a statement to PW Insider on Monday announcing Aldis will not be at Saturday's Hard Times 3 or the promotion's television taping scheduled for this weekend. He had been scheduled to wrestle on the pay-per-view. In a since-deleted video posted to his Instagram on Sunday, Nick Aldis announced that he has given the promotion his notice and intends to become a free agent in January. According to those who saw the video, Aldis also stated he had creative differences with Billy Corgan and finds the current NWA product embarrassing. NWA statement on the matter read, Pursuant to the recent comments made by Nick Aldis, the National Wrestling Alliance has suspended Aldis from the main roster and effective immediately. Aldis will not appear for the Hard Times 3 pay-per-view and Revolution Rumble television tapings in New Orleans, Louisiana. Aldis also responded to an article regarding the NWA not running an all-female Empower event this year. He tweeted the following, If some of you are wondering whether stuff like this factored into my decision to give my notice, you'd be correct. Corrigan recently told the 10 Count that the NWA continues to want to do another Empower pay-per-view and is continuing to have discussions with other companies about working together for the event. Corrigan said the NWA won't hold the Empower pay-per-view until it can provide a quote, world-class event with some of the best professional wrestlers in the world. In regards to this matter, Fightful Select reported that Billy Corgan's disrespect towards Aldis's wife, Mickey James, was also what soured him. The report read, quote, Aldis noted that Billy Corgan's disrespect towards his wife, Mickey James, in the lead up and following NWA and power was a huge reason for the relationship between Aldis and NWA souring. It was noted that they've never spoken about it publicly because of Aldis's spot as a top name in the NWA. They also wrote, We have also heard from several women who have regularly appeared in NWA 
who also felt disrespected by Corgan and Trevor Murdoch's claims that there wasn't enough depth or enough women that could work the NWA style to do a second Empower show. In regards to being removed from the shows, Nick Aldis wrote a follow-up post saying, Sorry to disappoint, but I was removed from the shows this weekend after giving my notice. I fully intended to fulfill my obligations to the audience, but unfortunately, the company doesn't seem to share the same values. Billy Corgan appeared on Busted Open Radio in July and explained the change to the NWA 74 main event and also expressed his frustration with Nick Aldis, in which he said, quote, I've dealt with this man for over four years and for every ounce of politicking you see publicly, there's about 10 times worse behind the scenes. No one stresses me out more in the NWA than Nick Aldis. No one is more highly paid than Nick Aldis and no one is more unhappy than Nick Aldis. Well, that's your quick news roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to click subscribe and I'll catch you on the next vid.